Welcome everyone to another episode of These Are the Blades of Our Lives, the figure skating show where I talk to you about figure skating like it is drama for our mamas. On today's episode, we continue the Getting Iteri Her Phone 40% series. This is where we look at possible earning opportunities for Iteri's girls if only shit had not hit the fan at the Olympics. Last episode, we talked about what the girls could do as a group to get Iteri paid. In this episode, we look at what they can do individually to maximize Iteri's 40%. Our first little Iteri earner is none other than Aliona. She was born to be a diva, Kostanaya. For her individual endeavor, I am partnering Aliona with another like-minded diva, Miss Yevgenia Medvedeva, and I am giving them their own lifestyle talk show. The premise of the show will be them interviewing and following the sport elites and personalities of Russia. They can have an episode where they interview Miss Alina Radionova. They can discuss her plan to marry a Russian billionaire and start her own skating empire. Another episode can be with Arena Wiener. She could be on her yacht with the twins, Dina and Arena, and where they will tell us in great details how they were robbed by the International Rhythmic Gymnastic Panel. They are the rightful gold medalists. Of course, we must have an in, we must have an episode with Yevgenia Teresova and Vladimir Morosov, where we will learn if they really dislike each other in real life as much as they appear to dislike each other on ice. And we cannot forget the Plashenko family special with all three sons. That's right. And of course, Jan, Jana will be in the middle of it all, shading both Iteri and Tatiana Teresova with one breath. These two divas will bring us more drama than a Jerry Springer reunion special. Next, I want to partner up Sasha and Maya and give them a sports show. The premise of the show is sort of like sports swapping. So basically, we take a rhythmic gymnast and a figure skater and we give them one week to learn each other's programs. We then show their progress and then their big performance. Or we take a swimmer and a basketball player and we have them compete in an unofficial competition in the other's place. Of course, each week, Sasha and Maya will also take on a new sport and we get to see how well they do. I'm also partnering Daria and Camilla in a dance battle type show. So at the beginning, both girls will start off with $100,000 in a team of five people made up of professional and non-professional dancers. Each week, the team will be given a dance theme, and they must come up with choreography and then put on a performance. That will be judged by a panel in the audience. The losing team must pay the winning team $10,000 after every competition. After six episodes, the team with the most money gets to split the entire $200,000, while the losing team gets a second place trophy that's worth $2.99. Oh, the competition will be savage, and Iteri will love it. The more tears, the better. Our last little 40% earner is none other than dutiful daughter, Anna Shabakova, who will become an actress. If it's one thing we learned about Anna, it is no matter what nonsense Danny G gave her, she committed to it with a level of conviction that was Oscar worthy. Putting Anna's skill to good use, Channel One is going to give her a 16 episode teen drama. Guys, this is my moment to shine. Decades of watching Asian drama, K-drama, C-drama, J-drama, P-drama, and lacoons will finally pay off. The setting of our drama is an elite ballet school. Anna comes from one of the oldest elite ballet families in Russia. Her older brother was the heir to the family legacy. However, a car accident left him paralyzed in one leg, and it now falls on Anna to carry on the family honor. Anna doesn't love ballet the way the rest of her family does. However, it is impossible for her to turn her back on century of family tradition. With the weight and pressure 
on her, Anna joins the most prestigious ballet school in the country. There she meets Angelina, her bitter rival with whom she has been competing since kindergarten. Angelina is partnered with Vladimir, whom she views as her future husband and personal property, even though Vladimir has made it clear that he only sees her as a dance partner. Vladimir is a free-spirited bad boy of the ballet world, and he wants to dance his way. This appeals to our young conservative Anna. And so these three young adults find themselves in a love triangle with Anna and Angelina fighting both on and off the stage for love and teenage glory. One day, the prima ballerina and primo ballerina of Russia, Cameo, by Alina Ilenik and Sergei Pulin. They put on their version of the Black Swan. The girls are inspired. The director then informs the girl that a grand production of Black Swan will be produced by the school and only one girl can be the lead. Thus, the final battle begin. Of course, the school director will be played by none other than Miss Iteri Tuberetsi herself. We will also have other casts, including Miss Tatiana Teresova, who will play the oldest patron and donor of the school. Her only flaw is that she cannot shut up. And then, of course, we have tone-deaf, blind, cut-and-paste artiste slash choreographer, Mr. Danny G. We will also have cameo by the lack of Alina Zagidova, who will play a one-starred ballerina who was expelled for the, from the school for wanting to see her mother twice a year when everyone know only one annual visit is allowed for family members. And then we're going to have Miss Aliona Kostanaya, she was born to be a diva, play a starlet ballerina who was kicked out when she refused to do a pas de bray with one broken leg. They called her the lazy one because others have done it with two broken legs. With 16 episodes, the cameo possibility is endless. We can also throw in a switch at birth story between Anna and Angelina and give a case of amnesia to Vladimir. A little bit of everything for everyone. This will be the epic teen drama to end all epic teen drama. We'll also throw a rich mother who throws water and money at people. We will live no drama stone unturned. Unfortunately, I haven't come up with a name for this drama yet or any of the other shows. So please feel free to share below what you think they should be called. And when it is all said and done, the winner of everything is without a doubt Miss Tuberetsi and her 40%. So, what do you guys think of my post-Olympic careers for the six pillars? Do you guys have some other ideas of what they could do? Let me know in the comments.